Hi, this is Rob Longevity Learning Lab. I'm going to show you our water cooler that we have for our machines. Now the water cooler is great because it keeps your TIG torch nice and cool if you're doing long beads. Uh, that way you don't have to go ahead and just stop and wait because you don't want to burn up your, your torch. That's a big thing. So we've got a few different torches here. So we have to make sure that we're giving you the right torch you need because you don't always have to have a water cooler and that would be an added expense good to have in my point of view um, when you buy the machines you want to have it if it's a higher amperage like for instance our, uh, our 250 MP okay that's a higher amperage the torch will get hotter on you okay now for instance we've got the one torch here and it's the um, it's our 18 FX and you see, you'll see when you get it it's got more hoses for the input and the output from the water pump. And then it's, it's also a heavier, heavier duty uh, torch because our other torches that we have are just like the scratch start. And you can tell right off the bat that you can't get them too hot. And that's for just light gauge stuff, you know. But if you really got to do some like aluminum, for instance, that takes a lot of heat. You want to have a water cooler. And our water cooler is really basic. It's really nice and uh, it's straightforward. You got your, your outlets here and your inlet, your on and off, and then your tank. Now with your tank, you can put water in there, which is fine if you're using it everyday usage. But if it sits for a, a period of time, you want to go ahead and, and clean it out and make sure everything's pumping through. And there's other, like a, uh, almost like an antifreeze for your car that you can buy for it. And you can put that in there and it just won't gum up your pump and stuff like that. And if it, it sits for a length of time, you always want to make sure that it's running and it'll be pumping for you because there's nothing worse than having your stinger running a nice bead, then all of a sudden it's starting to melt on you and oh boy, that's not a good thing. But uh, let me go ahead and we'll plug it in, hook it up and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, well here's the front of the pump again. We see I got our, our outlets here. We got our, our cap for our tank. Now the tank is actually, it's a plastic tank, so you don't have to worry about corrosion, which is good. Then you got your on and off switch. And then with our torch here, we've got our hoses. And it's pretty straightforward because on the hoses, you've got the three different ones. You've got your regular power, and then you've got the other hoses here for the pump. Now, on these hoses here for the pump, you've got uh, reverse threads, okay, so you can't get them mixed up. So obviously it'll go in this way here, and then this way here, and reverse threads. So you can't get that mixed up with the machine, because on the other hose, that's just the standard thread. So you get that hooked up, and then it runs on the 110, and that's pretty straightforward for you. And then you see you've got your level gauge here. It's all it is is just uh, the plastic uh, tank and you'll see the water coming up. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's really, it's a good thing to have. And uh, yeah, I don't care what anybody says, a water cooler is the thing, the thing to have. And uh, I'm not gonna pump, fill it up or anything like that because it's nice and clean. I wanna keep it nice and clean. It's pretty straightforward for a pump. And then like I was saying, if it sits for a period of time, you want to check the fan. You want to check, make sure you get that water flow because there's nothing worse than burning up your, your torch. And then that's it. Well, there you go. And uh, the pump, it's a nice little pump. It's really light and uh, it'll fit in our cart and stuff like that for you. And just remember, just make sure that water is flowing. If it's been sitting for a long time, you don't want to you know, really worry about it. Uh, the, the guts are all, the pump and everything, it's all brass, so you don't have to worry about the corrosion there. And uh, just keep, keep the water in there clean, and then keep your torch nice and cool. And uh, the torches, we've got a couple different sizes of torches for you too. And uh, I just showed you the 18FX, and that's a, that's a good one. This is a standard one that we use. And uh, you can also get it with, uh, that's the size here without the water cool and I like them too because it's it's ergonomic you have the little the little um, little control button here that you can take off and if you don't like the button the roller button you can have the slider and all that and it's really ergonomic I like that but uh, anyway that's our water cooler and I'm Rob and thank you for joining us with at Longevity Learning Lab see ya